Now I don't know exactly what China is doing here, but it does look awfully close to the energetically autonomous tactical robot, aka the Eaterbot, as the robot could forge for biomass to fuel itself, but was cancelled in 2022 as rumors speculated it could, or would, ingest humans. But it looks like China is right back on top of it. And maybe this bot has a different function, but just like when Boston Dynamics demoed their robot dogs dancing, China went straight into using them to enforce lockdown restrictions. And now they seem to be raising an army of these guys. Which I wonder. Are these robot dogs going to ever replace their stormtroopers in the streets? Especially when it's been seen they can now be mounted with a sniper attachment. And how long until the US starts to deploy these as well? As Biden was introduced to the Boston Dynamics robot and they had been deployed in Hawaii. Is used to screen individuals at homeless sites on Oahu. So you really gotta think. Deploying robot dogs into the streets to monitor the homeless population to see if they have a fever and what if it finds exactly what it's looking for? What happens then? Because we know in New York City, the NYPD deployed the Digidog canine. That thing is creepy. And the police eventually had to retire him because he was terrifying the residents. But let's not forget about China's biggest bot problem, online robots on social media, but especially Twitter. Because if you know me, I'm just a commentary channel on YouTube with a very small following on Twitter. But just look at my followers there. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a coincidence that all these model tier Chinese women with the usernames of first name 123456 all want to follow me. And they all want to desperately crawl in my DMs to get my personal information. And they all have access to professional cameras, personal trainers, but don't seem to know more than five people in real life to follow them on Twitter. Although I do appreciate that this channel is important enough that bot accounts need to monitor me online. And it would be somewhat more believable if I had photoshopped my profile pic Japanimate up those eyes, chiseled down that jaw to get that chad status, and deflattened my facial features, and just did some very light airbrushing of my skin. Okay, I kinda buy that, because I know I'm not the smartest person on here, but I'm not in Congress. You're not gonna fang fang me on Twitter with your lazy bot accounts. But I guess at the end of the day, it won't matter if they're coming at us with people eating robots. So if you watch this entire video of my concise recap on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscriptions and you can join the decoy squad and help us get to 60,000 ducks. And if you haven't already, check out my video on what's really going on in Los Angeles before it gets memory hold forever.